Hi, I'm Sunny Goldberg, and welcome to Know Your Neighbors. I want you to come with me to the Mamaroneck Cinema, brand new, nine days open, and take a look at how lucky we are in the village of Mamaroneck to have eight new theaters. Come on. I've been excited a lot of times, but not as excited as I am today, sitting in the Mamaroneck Cinema with Andrew Elgard. He, his brother Noah, and his dad Harvey have taken over this cinema and kept it in the most unbelievable manner. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Hello, Andrew. Hello. I'm so thrilled that you took the time to talk to me. Oh, yeah. Um, tell me about this project. I know it was a long <laughs> one. It's been, it's been a little while. Uh, basically, it's been three years. Uh, we had some delays, as we all know. <laughs> and, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but yeah, we finally got there, and it's looking great. Oh. So we couldn't be happier. Um, but it was quite a challenge. But you guys did something that is so major for me as a community person, you saved historically, I mean, the brick, the uh, accoutrements of the, yep. uh, tell us about doing that. So my father is really the, the main main motivator of all that. Harvey he's, Elgard. Harvey, my father. Okay. He's, uh, he's the, the originator of ripping down theaters and putting them back together and making things better is the way we look at it. But he, he loves history and he loves architecture and all this stuff so he saw the bones of the place and said this is got to bring it all together so that's kind of what what happened so it was the the spirit is all there you know you know the history is so mind-boggling <laughs> I, I I gave you all kinds of stuff and I know you guys are somewhat aware but I mean Charlie Chaplin was on that stage yeah it's backwards but yes it's, it's backwards <laughs> they've now re we've done this thing it's so fabulous and and Abbott and Costello and, um, and you know D.W. Griffith started the um, um, silent movies yeah. in Mamirnik. Uh, Lillian Gish was. I mean. I mean, anybody that comes in here, their first words are, "Do you know?" And do you that's know? That's right. That's right. I used to go here when I and and so it's it's been amazing to hear everybody's stories. They're, everybody has a story. So and it's all been positive stories. So it's it's very nice. They come in and they're all super excited and they're all, wow. This feels like this old, but it's new. And That's then, like, so it's so I'm I'm happy. Everybody's happy. <laughs> oh my God! Now we're in the main theater, which yes. is absolutely divine, largest theater. Yes. There are seven others. Yes, there's seven others um, with all the same seating. So the seating the is the seat same. Oh my it's God. just the sizes are different. So, but they're all built the way they should be. So you have, you know, a 40 seater that is comfortable for 40 seats with a great screen. Um, the sound everywhere is obviously amazing. Uh, this theater, especially, is a huge Dolby Atmos theater, which is pretty impressive because there's a lot of channels, a lot of sound channels. Wow. So it's not 5.1, it's not 7.1, it's Dolby Atmos, which is just a bit, a bit more than 7.1. Wow. Um, but it's pretty incredible. Yeah. So what it was, the Playhouse was, you know, a big, one, one big screen. And then when Clearview, I believe, took over, they're the ones that split it in half and turned this into two screens. So before, right. there was four screens here, two downstairs, two upstairs. And now you have an elevator. Now we have an elevator. <laughs> but now we don't have two screens upstairs. We now have one. This is the two screens turned Got into it. one. Got it. So that's why we were able to make such a big one. And then we, we added screens to where it was the backstage of the play, which is behind there. Now there's two screens behind there, which were never used before. The, the space was just empty. And all of the wonderful, were those little viewing places or that? No, was, I think that just was just... Um, decoration. I think it was just decoration. Wow. Yeah, because we didn't, we didn't really close off anything. It was all bricked up beforehand. So we just, uh, we just put some soundproofing on it to, to help with the echoes of, this, of the theater. It's yeah. it just divine. And it was so funny because Matt, our cameraman and <laughs> executive director, and I walked in and we went up ah, because we're used to the movie that uh -huh. way. 
and yeah. and there it is. This it's way. it's still here. It's still here. But yeah, even the uh, the halo here, which isn't lit up right now, but that's uh, part of the original framing. So, but there was that huge, beautiful piece of art that we yeah. tried to save it, but it, it, oh, it, oh, that was falling apart for a very I know, long. but we wanted it. It was we loved it. We oh. we wanted all of it, but it, it it didn't make it. You guys, your family has been in the business quite a long time. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So my father was an old school projectionist, thirty five millimeter. <laughs> I think he used to run eight eight and sixteen millimeter back in the day in Brooklyn. Um, I also am a 35 millimeter projectionist. Uh, that's how I started. Um, even as a kid, I was running 35 millimeter for birthday parties, stuff like that. Um, and now I'm the technician. So I'm, I've moved on from 35 to digital. So I, wow. you have to know everything. So my father's known everything. I know everything. Noah's learning everything. So we've got a 40 years or so go with? I mean, <laughs> our Cobble Hill Cinema is 40 years uh, this year. So. Our other theaters are long-lasting movie theaters. Your Queens one was saved. It's a deco theater. That's correct. Couple. Uh, Q Garden Cinema. Q, Q Garden Cinema. I couldn't get over. Um, I went to the your website and yeah. looked. At, oh my God! It's classic. That's a that's a deco. But yes. We're older. Yes. We're 1925. Yeah. And uh, you guys are going to do a little historic um, museum. Yeah, it's in the works. Uh, we have the pieces. It's just we wanted to get. Oh, yeah. The movie's going, and then the museum will come Absolutely. after. And I must tell you that my grandson, Leo, had his birthday party here <laughs> yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? And they loved it. Yeah. They saw the new Toy Story. Even my son-in-law and daughter said the movie was really pretty good. Yeah, I mean, well, it's... As it's, an adult, even. <laughs> I mean, it's laser project. It's hard to... Not, like, any movie that's... A bad movie will probably look really good and sound good regardless. So you're not, it's not so bad. <laughs> but what Leo said that really knocked my socks off, he said the popcorn was so good. But they have a butter machine, Ma, yeah. uh, Grandma. You won't believe. <laughs> and I thought, what the heck is a butter machine? <laughs> yeah, no, it's self serve. Oh, self serve. We're not dealing with it. Go, go, go crazy. <laughs> That's up to you. You do what you want. I'm, I'm okay with it. Well, I'm so thrilled because to me, just like LMC Media, community connection is so important. And I know that this is going to be a meet and greet place for community. Yeah. You guys are family oriented. I'm really looking forward to coming and seeing all our neighbors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, it's uh, already happening. It's it already is? happening. I've seen it plenty of times already where people are bumping into each other. Oh, hi. Haven't seen you yeah. in 20 years. No, it's just like, hey, you know, the parents of kids and... You know, like I said earlier, that, that you know, I've already noticed a bunch of kids come by themselves. Oh yeah. To the movies, left, bought their stuff, went and watched their movie, went home, and parents already are comfortable being like, "Okay, how, see ya." How many places can you walk to the movie theater right. in a very safe neighborhood? Yes. Uh, and know that you drop your kids off. No, it's the They're town. All... It's the town. You know, it's 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 what it is. So it's. It's it's great, and we just I feel like we've just added to the to the neighborhood again. So we thank it's back you. again. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for saving this and for the community. Now, can we take a walk? Of course. And take a look at what you guys have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So where are we now? So this is the hallway going into the main house, yeah. uh, the playhouse, the Dolby Atmos Theater. My father Harvey has been starting to get his collection out on the walls. And so he has been working on it, and uh, this is part of it. Oh my God, here we are. <laughs> I went up and down this thing with my kids. Oh, Look yeah. what you've done. Yeah, we kept the railings. We opened up this, so I, I think this used to be your, this was here. Yes. We just cleaned it up and changed it a little bit. So, um, if you go, you take the elevator up here, Yep. And then there's an elevator that the, drops you off right at the top there, the too. Oh, no, there's an elevator to every yeah. movie theater is accessible to anybody and everybody. So there's no like, hey, I'm in this theater, I'm in that theater. No, 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 it's every theater you can get to. We do the blockbusters, always a kid movie if possible. Always. We'll have some art coming in. There'll be foreign films. It's summertime, so art is not usually right. very popular at this time because Oscars and all that stuff and the blockbusters right. are for summer. And then September, October, you'll start seeing us oh. feed a few new titles. I think we have one like Miss Harris. So that's a little off 
um, and where smaller. the crawdads, which is where the crawdads. I love that. So book. as you can see, it's going to be a mix. We have um, already one NT Live National Theatre Live very booked. Um, we'll have more of those. We'll have Royal Opera, Royal Ballet. So we have all these things in the works. It's just piece by piece, uh, starting to schedule everything. So you hit, heard it first here. <laughs> If we don't get it, we go right to Andrew. Yep. Oh my God. And this area is so fantastic, Andrew, that I can't get over it. Um, it's it just the way you've presented it. Yeah, these are even some of the old, we, we added some of the, the grates to the candy stand. So that's, that's original stuff that we just incorporated into the stand. So we, that's how far we took it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and. Did you have problems hiring with all of the issues or? No, actually we've gotten huge responses. You know, it's just picking and choosing and trying to get the right, the right staff. Right. But there's so many people been dying to come here and, and the staff that we have that we've picked up, I think we only have like eight or nine staff at the moment and they're, they're all great. So we're, we're really, we're very, very happy oh, and fortunate. Wow. They're, they're, they're all friendly and they're all neighborhood kids for the most part. Everybody's, pretty close, either walking distance or five, 10 minutes away. Fantastic, yeah, so really? It's, and that's that's what we were looking for is, you know, to get the neighborhood involved, so. You did something pretty terrific. Um, you guys didn't want to intrude on restaurant business around. Yep. So you're doing all kinds of treats and fun stuff. Well, the classic movie going experience. So we don't want people to bring their dinner in. We want them to eat over there enjoy the town, have dinner, and a movie. Or movie, and then a dinner. Right, but not exactly. Movie and dinner at the same time, that's not the point here. It's, it's literally the old school classic style. You come, watch a movie, eat some popcorn, have a drink. And eventually, and like, you'll get wine and beer. Yes, wine and beer is in the <laughs> cards, so that should help. A lot in the back of Maranek Ave is for the most part available, and they have up to four hour parking, so if you go to watch a movie, it's kind of where you want to be, so you don't have to stress about the two hour max or two and a half hours. You can go there, pay the whole meter, watch a whole movie, and then leave without worrying about if you got a ticket. If this is not an indication of what it means to be in a community, um, we welcome you, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm thrilled. Yeah. And, um, Anybody who hasn't been here, you've got to come. It's fabulous, and it's going to be the heart of our village. So I thank you, Andrew. I thank you, Harvey, Noah, all of you, <laughs> and we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching, and See bye. you at the movies. Yeah, see ah. you at the movies. All right. <laughs> Good job.